If you want to get to know me a little better, something you should probably know is that I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. So earlier this month, on May 4th, I attempted to find a match on Battlefront 2 for some casual play. But once again, like many times before, EA had let me down. Their third party software wouldn't even let me play the game I already owned, and sadly, I didn't even have a chance to start my game. So I did what any other sane Star Wars fan would have done. I started up the original saga, and my binge watching began. And over the next couple of days, I started to see more and more videos talking about a game that I had played already a handful of times. But it wasn't a Star Wars game. It was a milsim game called Squad. So for those of you that maybe never heard of that genre before, it stands for Military Simulator. And its main focus is on accurate representations of teamwork, strategy, and camaraderie. Now how does this relate to Star Wars? Well, there's a mod for the game called Galactic Intention. And it's quite large. Like, almost the size of the base game large. But it was so worth it. When EA failed me and left me sat on my couch as I watched Anakin talk about his distaste for sand, Squad lifted my spirits up by letting me experience what it would be like to be a trooper during the Clone Wars. It let me take on the Republic in ways I never really thought I would ever get to do. And it took me places across the galaxy that I never even knew was even in the Star Wars universe to begin with. I mean, just look at these locations. So much atmosphere and beauty wrapped into the world around me waiting to unfold as I stormed the battlefield with my teammates. Needless to say, I was immersed heavily in the epic scale that was Galactic Contention. I mean, the amount of love poured into this mod was shining, and it made me think, how much different would Battlefront really be if it was focused on immersion rather than the casual arcadey side of things? From the weapons, the ambience, the terrain, vehicles, and skyboxes, it just all blew me away. Let's just say I was really, really happy to be finally playing something Star Wars related this month. After I had just finished Jedi Survivor, I was itching for more. But what I discovered about this mod was how painstaking it was even to come to fruition. This mod has been carefully crafted for immersion at its core, and thankfully the developers working on this mod have struck gold when it comes to that. From downloading this mod, I've patrolled planets with full battalions pushing on one contested zone, had artillery strikes placed down on enemy fronts, and have seen the harshness of war firsthand. It was everything I could ever want from a Star Wars game, and yet it wasn't even a Star Wars game. Alright, jokes aside here, it was magical, and I was entranced to be at the forefront of it all. I wasn't watching clips online anymore of clone troopers assaulting enemy bases. I was a part of it. I fought in the Clone Wars. You fought in the Clone Wars? I have always been a fan of Star Wars. It's been a part of my childhood since the early 90s, and I'm just grateful for people that do these types of things for people like me. So I would like to say on my small little YouTube channel, thank you to all the developers that worked on Squad, and to all the developers that worked on this mod. Without these two major groups, I wouldn't have had the chance to even witness one of the coolest things I've ever experienced as a fan of the franchise. And I think it goes without saying here, but I'll say it anyways. If you're scared to try these types of games, whether it be the learning curve, or maybe just having to communicate with complete strangers across the internet, give yourself a chance to enjoy something magical. That goes for any game, or anything really. You owe it to yourself to enjoy the little things in life. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I appreciate you stopping by. My name is Zen, I'll catch you in the next one, and may the force be with you.